Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, I wanted to show you, so this is my first time using um, the, the box content information on Inventory Lab. That's where this whole thing is. Um, this is the live page. Um, yeah, like I said, it's the first time I'm doing it. Um, most of these things are books. Like a lot of these um, are like thrift store toys um, and then some books. Um, anyway, I just can send them all in one shipment. Um, usually I split them up in the books I do in one shipment and some toys I do in another shipment, but these um, kind of just been sitting around for a while, so I just decided to throw them in here. Anyway, so what I actually did, so you can look up here. So these are a few of the shipments I have. Um, one has 30 items, one has five, one has 178 going to the different warehouses okay total number of boxes these ones I already did they're only one box so you don't have to provide box content information on that uh, for this one uh, you will after November 1st right now it's uh, October 22nd it's about 11 o'clock in the morning um, so I thought I would just run through this just kind of show you guys that it's not it's not extremely difficult but at the same time it's not very fast um, so I already have one box. I already have one 50 pound box which has a lot of the book, these books in it. However, um, I didn't, um, I was not going to figure out what books were in that box. I didn't care because I knew I could get the majority of them in one box. And so now what I'm actually doing is I'm going through a second box. So I actually have two different uh, boxes you can see right here. First box I didn't assign anything into yet. Second box I'm going to do that and then I know all this all the other books that are not in the second box are obviously in the first box so I'll click the button do the drop down and go to assign okay so that's uh, all I'm really doing with that so uh, kind of run through a few of the books right now um, and yeah and just show you guys it's not it's not extremely difficult so it's gonna be in box two now I haven't used Chris Green's um, uh, the it's called Box B O X T. Haven't used that yet, um, only because I've just been so busy doing my own stuff. Um, I haven't put a huge um, emphasis on learning, um, you know, this new some new system or whatever. So because of that, um, let me find this book. Hold on. Too. So because of that, um, I I'm gonna have to learn it now. Um, so I am gonna use Box to see how well it works. Um, do I think it's gonna be better? I don't know. It it probably is. Usually the stuff that that Chris puts out um, is is quality stuff. So I doubt this thing on Inventory Lab is gonna be any better than what what uh, Chris has put out. I think it's like $24 a month to use Boxed, um, and this just comes free with the with your Inventory Lab account. However, um, from what and maybe maybe somebody else out there, uh, if you're watching this, um, maybe there's another way. Uh, maybe I'm not doing it the right way. Um, like I said, this is my first time ever doing it. Um, I just wanted to kind of get a hang of it before uh, before I really get into Q4 because that's not the time I want to be messing around with any of this stuff. Um, I do, I have been talking to three new, um, three new prep companies. I'm probably going to bring on at least one, maybe two, uh, into my, my current, um, you know, group of you know, prep companies. But I'm not sure yet. Um, I am going to have one person helping me locally, um, full time for for the holiday season so that will go really well um, so I, I need to kind of explain everything to her and see exactly which which uh, software she likes best and we'll go with that one um, but yeah I just want to show you guys kind of how this thing works uh, it's very simple it's very much uh, just repetition you know find whatever item you're selling stick it in which whichever box it is and you're good to go.
So like I said, all these are going into box number two. Got two more books to go. Um, huh. Okay. So now I think I hit a... I even made a mistake. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, I got to figure out what I did. I think I made a mistake. Anyway... So that, that's really it, guys. Um, I just want to show you just kind of how you use this inventory lab thing. Um, over on the right, over here, you can't actually see it. There's actually a box that says has new um, and then gives all the boxes that you have. Like I said, I only have two right now. It's probably end up being three boxes, but I don't know. Uh, but if you guys use inventory lab, go check it out. It's very simple. Like I said, November 1st, it has to be. Um, you don't have to do the box content, but if you don't, Amazon will charge you 15 cents per unit. So, uh, does it make sense to do box content? It does, unless it takes you a very, very long time. So, if you don't use Inventory Lab, you don't use um, Box, there's probably other services out there. Um, figure out which one you like best and use that one. You do not want to risk your Q4 earnings, your Q4 sales, all that based on this simple you know, box content information. Um, it's very easy to do. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. So like I said, this is my very first time. Uh, am I gonna keep using Inventory Lab to do this? I don't know. I'm gonna go try Boxed, and I'll do a video on that and kinda show you guys which one I like best. So talk to you guys soon.